it's no secret they've made insinuations on how he got to his bulk. Can you ask him about that if he cares what they say in terms of that and how if he did it naturally? Ellos, ellos, ellos tienen que probar, no nada más es hablar, tienen que probar y yo estoy dispuesto a, a, cualquier, a cualquier tipo de exámenes que nos quieran hacer, cuando ellos quieran, incluso yo los invito para que nos, nos hagamos a, eh, los exámenes antidoping como, como debe de ser, para que quede claro esta situación. You know, I think uh, you can say anything you want, but you don't have any proof. What does that mean? It means nothing. But I, I told them that I'm willing to take any exam they want. Both together. Let's go together and they can see we can do it together. But well, why didn't you do it earlier then? Because now, it, if, theoretically, if somebody took it, it would have cleared their system. Why wouldn't you have done it earlier so you could have proven that you hadn't taken it? They never wanted to I'll talk to you about it. The last time we were there, we didn't do anything. We were there waiting for them to say something. And we were tranquil. We didn't do anything. But now they are attacking. They are attacking. And if they want to do the exam, I am ready. At the time they want, today, tomorrow, after the press conference, when they want, I am ready. You know, when... Before the for that last fight in November, uh, there have been accusations about him. People have been saying things about him, and we, we didn't care. Him being Manny? Yeah. yeah. We, know, we never brought it up. We didn't think it was you know something. We didn't know anything, so we didn't bring it up. They never brought it up, and we never did anything about it. For this fight, you know, all of a sudden, the last couple of weeks they've been starting. They're the one that have been attacking me. And, uh, you know, Macho. that's why I'm saying now, let's do it now. Then. And that's, what, that's what they think. How much of that do you think is because of what they saw in the last fight, and how much do you think is just reaching and trying to put head here? Think any of it is, is that? Mm -hmm. No, yo, 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 yo estoy concentrado en la pelea, estoy metido en la pelea y ellos podrán decir lo que quieran, pero yo estoy muy concentrado. I, I feel very focused in this fight. The uh, money, the Pacquiao team, uh, he, he say anything, but I, I, I feel very focused in this fight and I don't, I don't, don't, don't matter, don't matter nothing. Hey Juan, this fight is the 447 pound limit. Do you think that's an advantage for you or for Manny, or does it even matter? Maybe I feel for money, but, but uh, I feel great. I feel great in this way. I feel, uh, I, 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 I feel very strained. I have the speed. I have everything. Everything. I, I, I feel great. Do you have to cut to make 47 now, or, or is it? Can you just make it without cutting? Tienes que trabajar para bajar el peso. No, 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 no. No, estoy comiendo. I need to, I need to eat more. I need to eat more for, <laughs> for this way. But you're walking around. What? What is the walk? What do you walk around? Peso normal cuando no estás trabajando. 145, 144. Juan, some of the techniques. Can you tell me a little bit about the techniques your strength coach, Mr. Hernandez, implemented, and how much of a change was that for you, and how much has it effect has it had on your body? Mucho, cambió, cambió mucho. I working with with Angel. I I I change everything. I feel great. I, I feel great because because I have uh, uh, 20 years of career, but but I I, I do it I do it the same for for 18 years. I do it. Every, I, he say, he say, I was on the same way. for 18 years. For 18 years. Yeah. And now with with Angel, change everything. The one, one question. Can I ask you a question? Maybe both of you can answer. You you were on TV. You were doing those squats. And that would seem to be, you know, create a lot of lactic acid buildup and take a while. So it, that's not something boxers normally do, lifting that heavy weight. Why did you choose to do that? And is, was that a concern about, you know, no, having... Uh, at the time we were doing, uh, we were going through a phase of testing, testing uh, what we call uh, the maximum lift work. So we're doing uh, in the heavy stage of training. So really, acid lactic is not a concern for me or for, for a step. We know how to how to uh, neutralize it. That's my job as a coach, as a scientist. It's, I don't know how to neutralize lactic acid. How do you neutralize it? Well, that's that's just my secrets. I don't I don't intend to tell so people can copycat my secrets. Okay. But uh, but it's all it's all legal. It's all within the law. Not illegal stuff. So it's as simple as that. I, you have to understand I'm a scientist as well. I'm not just a strength. I understood it. I guess the question being though is that you know historically guys in the, in this sport haven't it, done it, that. It, it, and so it, my follow it, my follow up. No, no, and it, it's a it's a fair it's a fair question because in the past a lot of people you have to understand weight training has changed a lot. Has evolved. And, and, and even to, in the past, you could not see uh, strength conditions around boxers. They was only the manager and the boxers. Today, you must have a boxer 
strength conditioner and a, and a manager. So because it's, it's sort of like a team, it works together, you know. The whole team is the whole team. It's like a chain of reaction. Can you comment then also that Ernie Mac here on, on obviously they're charging, they don't think he's they don't think he's done it. Outlook. They don't think he's done illegal in terms of getting. Oh yeah, no, no, nothing illegal. We uh, what, 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 what? there have been charges from their side wondering how he's gotten this big and how oh, he's done Oh yeah, yeah. we've done everything. I uh, met with federal authorities a couple of days ago in LA. I met with uh, Jeff Novitsky. I met with uh, one of the authorities, uh, chief investigator. I requested because the allegations that were have been implemented on my client. It's just, and it's implemented on me as well. I think it's unfair and it's very illogical for someone, Hall of Famer, to come out and say something like that. So I met with authorities and we are going to take steps forward. I told them they're probably going to be here on Thursday. I requested to do an Olympic who, blood who, test. Who's they? Who's they? Uh, Jeff Novinsky the is a lead investigator and a uh, water investigator chief uh, for the uh, water, the World Anti Doping Agency. And USADA, but USADA, in that case, USADA cannot test in Mexico due to the fact that it's international. Right. So we have to go to water. They're ready to go, they're ready to implement the test, but you know, it's not up to us. If Pacquiao decides to do it, we would, we, you know, we want well, to Well, I guess, Memo, the it. question would be, though, what is the point of testing him now if he hadn't been tested through camp and there was EPO no. or whatever taken? Right. It you, wouldn't show up right now, would it? No, well, you got to understand that what they got is biological passports. Biological passports, it tells you, it goes backwards, it tells you how long you have been using drugs. EPO is detectable, it's plenty detectable, bro hormone is detectable, and through the Olympic system. So that is detectable. It's just the fact is we requested blood tests long time ago from last year. They didn't. Re they didn't want to follow up. this year. They didn't. It wasn't stated in the contract. We requested that as to be fair with everybody, but they didn't want it to. So you know, we, I'm not the one. We 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 cannot change the commission. We do our job. We do our job. Natural does his job. He trains. So we we not, we, don't, we not sitting down here trying to change the commission. The commission right. is the ones that have to step in and say, you know what? Let's do blood tests for everybody. Let's do a blood a fair test for everybody. But they, you know, I don't make the commission. Well, would you do like? If, if Assuming he wins this fight, would you go the next fight and say we'll submit this the is what, this CIR is, testing the whole time? Thanks for asking that. Now, the next what this is this is what I'm working on. All my fighters from now on, they're gonna go to the Olympic system. They're gonna be both, all of them are gonna be on the contract with me, with WADA and federal authorities. We're not gonna we're gonna do the contract. That means everybody's gonna be all my athletes, including Juan We're gonna be tested all year round. And the carbon isotope ratio testing. Yeah, they, well, they, yeah, the isotope test, the 13, 14 carbon EPO test. This, there's the many implementation tests that could be used. At 24-7, 365 then. There you go. So now that's, that's what you're saying? Or your own, yes. So you, are you willing to do that? Because in other words, they could come to your house on Christmas Day and say you need to pee in a bottle. Would you be willing to do that, what he just described? <laughs> No, 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 yo soy, yo estoy listo, nada más que lo que se quiere es que, que se trabaje limpio y que suba re limpio. Ellos lo que están diciendo, en este caso Freddy Roche dice que mi cuerpo no es natural, pues entonces hay que someterse a, a unos exámenes tipo olímpicos para ver, para ver que se compruebe que es, que es natural, pero también si me lo hago yo, que se lo haga el equipo, que yeah. se lo haga Manny Pacquiao. I'll be happy to do it, you know, whenever they want, as long as the guy that I'm fighting does the same sure. thing. I mean, you know, if it's going to be a level field, it has to be a level field for everyone. That's it. That's, that's exactly what I requested. I said, look, I signed a contract with the government. I signed a contract with the We have all my boxes tested for ASO. We have to make sure we put a clue there uh, yeah, uh, on the contract that also the third party that we're going against, they get tested the same system. Why? Because it's about quality. It's about quality. We, we have to be equal, correct? Right. So as long as, as long as it's agreeable by both parties, we got no problems. Okay. Like I said, I've been, I don't know if you guys know much about my history, but I've been advocated and I've been working with USADA for almost six years. I've been doing, I just don't talk. I'm not like some people in San Francisco who talks a lot and loves the media attention. And I think you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> that, that idiot. <laughs> yeah. That Mr. Twitter, the Twitter master. So I don't. I don't, I don't do that. I'm a guy, I'm a scientist, I'm a professional. I don't So if I called life. him, what would he say about you? What would he say? That guy over there? Yeah. Twitter. Well, you know Mr. Twitter. He's been just knocking his off the whole time. So I don't really, it doesn't concern me at all. Because he doesn't know my history. He's just pissed off. I expose the whole world to track and field. And it's not my fault. You mean, in the, you mean in the, uh, in the window? German thing where you showed how to, you know, how to get the drugs. See, the thing about it is that uh, that film, when it was done, <laughs> I was I was showing it that the reporter, that's how they, the, the athletes used to inject it. But I did it on myself because it was a film, so I don't, you know, but they twisted it around. It just happens with media, twist the things around when they do edit, uh, editing, so. Well, what, what other fighter, is he your only fighter or do you have no, other I fighters? No, I got more, but I'm not going to talk about the fighters yet until the contracts are finalized and the ones the contracts are, sit, uh, uh, are uh, signed. They will be uh, sent to. Because you don't, you don't have them signed now under contract, or you're. Well, I'm, I'm waiting for what, what uh, uh, officials to 
formalize uh, a contract. So what a, my understanding, WADA cannot just jump in on any athlete. It has to, it has to be uh, coordinated with the commissions. Okay. And if the commission wants to do it, hey, we welcome. We, we, we trust the commission at the same time. Well, I don't change the commission. We just want to do the right thing. And that's what we have been trying to do. But you know, just people just talk nonsense stuff. Let me ask you, you know, so let, let's assume for the sake of argument that you know everything is you're clean. You're in a really bad situation here. If you win the fight, the more you know, if you knock them out, it's going to even create more submission uh, suspicion, right? Because of all this controversy. So you're in a can't win situation, don't you think? No, yo creo que estamos a tiempo de, de que esas sospechas se, se acaben. Estamos a tiempo de que, de que si llega a pasar eso el próximo sábado, que es lo que queremos que pase y es lo que era, para eso nos hemos entrenado, pues estamos dispuestos a cualquier examen. O sea, no estamos, nosotros no estamos cerrados a nada. Estamos dispuestos a cualquier examen el día que ellos quieran, cuando quieran. Pero lógicamente, si yo me hago un examen, pues que lo haga también ellos. I'm, I'm open to everything right now. Like I said, if, if they want to do it now, they want to do it tomorrow. Whenever they want to do it, I'm open to it, as long as he does it too. No, what I'm getting at is, let's assume that he's clean. He he can't. He's in a can't win situation. Even if he wins the fight, there's going to be skeptics out there saying. He's saying he goes, well, let's do something now. Then if that's going to be the that's going to be the case. I don't see why why it should be the case because there's no history. Right. But you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, yeah. Be clean now. Oiga, este, vamos a hacer una cosa. Márquez se ha metido tres cosas. Trabajo, trabajo y trabajo. Eso es. Lo que no entiende la gente es trabajo, trabajo y trabajo. Disciplina, Hang on, hang on, hang on. And I'm going to say this with a friend with, with all the respect to, uh, to uh, Freddy Roach. I want to invite Freddy Roach to my next training camp to stay four months with me. So he can send me one of his athletes to me. And he's going to see the changes. Most roads is still going to be a tremendous fighter. Just, just for him, just to not be saying things that might it's trickling. It's not only hurting my career, and it's hurting my reputation. Right. Obviously, you know, I'm trying to do the right thing here, but yet, seems like the people still hanging out onto the old subject. You know, you cannot judge people by, by uh, what you call the, the term in America, by association. Simple as that. It's just unfair by any regulations. Okay. How long ago you said you requested that both sides stay? Last year. Last year, at the beginning, uh, we requested that. They didn't say nothing about it, so we didn't say nothing. That's why we were surprised that, that uh, Freddie Roach started sparking up things coming up two weeks before. Maybe it's just a strategy for him just to uh, get him out of the out of the concentration stage. But, you know, Have you filed suit against him? Well, that's uh, that's something that we cannot talk here. We're going to... We, me and Pamanero are still talking about what we're going to do. But most likely, yes, we could be with him. Assuming you're clean, like you said, do you think this was mind games? Do you think it was just a way to play with your mind and get in your mind before they get the fight? No, yo estoy, yo, yo, estoy en, yo, yo estoy bien concentrado en la pelea. Ellos podrán decir lo que quieran, pero yo voy a subir concentrado a hacer mi trabajo. Aquí el estar hablando y el estar diciendo de que de, de, de sustancias prohibidas, eso quieren hacer ellos, pero yo estoy metido y concentrado en la pelea. You know, if you guys are going to sit here and talk about it all the time, I mean, we can talk about it all day, if that's what you want to do. But I don't care. You know, I'm, you know, I'll give you my time right now, then I'm going to go and train and hard work, and that's all I, I can do is work hard. R Ricardo, the, the first time he went up to 147 against Mayweather, he, he didn't look like, you know, he made the weight well. It looks like he just mostly just put on extra mass. If he had, you know, Angel with him back then, does he think the fight would have been different, like played out different? Bueno, yo creo que ahora el trabajo que hemos estado haciendo con, con Ángel ha sido grandioso y yo creo que como si lo hubiéramos hecho en esa pelea hubiera sido diferente la situación. Un trabajo, pues tenemos un año ya trabajando y lo hemos hecho de una manera muy buena y yo creo que si hubiera sido diferente la, la, la vez con Mayweather en la pelea con I think without a doubt it would have helped me. You know, I've been working with Angel not for a whole year. It was he hasn't been three months, but it's been a whole year. We've been working together on, the, uh, you know, on my body and my strength and everything. So yeah, I think if I would have had him back then, it would have been a different story.